these people are uh, determined to make Cyberpunk 2077 the biggest game of the year. Uh, they just continue to, to make such nonsensical claims and cry about this game. And all they're doing is making it more successful. They're making more people aware of it. They're making no valid complaints about it. And then they're getting smacked down with facts and reality. And all it's doing is going to make the game more successful. These people are so dumb. And all they do is is the thing that they try to destroy, they make it more successful. The thing they try to make successful, they end up destroying. <laughs> it's so funny. So now Mike Pondsmith has gotten involved now. Uh, so the creator of Cyberpunk 2020, Mike Pondsmith, who is counseling on CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk 2077, recently responded to the Cyberpunk 2077 transgender controversy. Uh, Pondsmith took to the, 20, the Cyberpunk 2077 subreddit to respond to a thread about an in-game advertisement that a number of people viewed as transphobic for sexualizing a character with male genitalia on a female body they want representation, then they get it, and then they find a reason to to complain about it. I, so I want to say this just once. I am really tired of well-meaning people on the internet chat boards uh, paternalistically. Did I say that right? Um, tell me what I, as a black person, should be offended by. 100%. 100%. Uh, you really want to be my ally? Uh, go gird up your lions at this year's Thanksgiving dinner. Have the nerve to tell your racist Uncle Bob to shut the F up for a change. <laughs> Pond Smith is not the only one to defend the advertisement. Uh, so, yeah, there's more people defending it. And, uh, again, this is just one part of it. This is just one part of it. And then look who's getting involved. Look who's getting involved. Of course, Anita Sarkeesian is getting involved. These people are insane. Why have they decided that this is the game? This is their target. We've had tweets in the past where, and I covered this on the channel, where they were offended because the character on the box art was a white male, a, a scruffy looking white male, and that was offensive to them. Everything is offensive to them when it comes to this game. This game is driving them crazy. The game has diversity. It has representation. And you're still complaining. Do you know why you're complaining? Because you're never happy. Never. And all you're doing is making it more successful. You're making people more interested. Maybe there's people that haven't heard about it. Maybe they continue to hear about the controversy. They look into it. The gameplay is fantastic, by the way. The gameplay looks amazing. The world that we're inhabiting here looks amazing. Everything looks great about this game. So if you are a gamer and it hasn't been on your radar, which I'm not really sure why it wouldn't be on your radar, but if you're a gamer and this hasn't been on your radar, you're going to look into it and you're going to go, holy crap, this looks really awesome because normal people don't get offended over these things. Normal people are just interested in a good video game with a good story and good characters and good gameplay. And this presumably has all of that. And so... All these SJWs are doing is they're making it more successful. And when it's successful due to their stupidity and the ignorance by crying about things that are non-issues, when it becomes successful, then they're just going to start talking about how the alt-right and the male patriarchy and all of this is it drives these businesses and they're going to blame uh, you know, the company for targeting the alt-right crowd or whatever. It, it, it's an endless loop of craziness. None of this stuff makes sense from them. They have no logic. They have no reasoning. They have no valid complaints or anything yet here we are with it and it's hilarious and i don't know what is wrong with these people i really don't um and, and you know bounding into comics is covering this story and and people uh, affiliated with the game are defending it rightfully so i mean look this is diversity this is diversity this is what you want right uh that seems to be a black female this is i don't think that's a i don't think that's a white male right there we have a white male in the avatar there's your diversity right there but you want to complain. Here's more diversity. Here's a black dude. That is maybe a white dude. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Who cares? And here's a white dude. You have everything. Apparently, it's got this, you know, uh, sexualizing a character with a male genitalia on a female body. So you got your, you know, you got your trans people or whatever. Um, 
And you're complaining. You're complaining about what exactly? What is the problem here? What's Anita complaining about? Hey, CD Projekt Red, I'm always available for uh, consulting because it sure sounds like you might need it before the whole of or before the whole of the internet drags you for what sounds like some potentially sexist representations, which we all know you've struggled with in the past. Oh my God. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Uh, this is like, so what's the problem here? After players gun down the enemies in the compound, they find the kidnapped woman and another NPC laying naked in the bathtub filled with ice. With her eyes rolled back in her head and her body glistening with water, the player must carry her in the arms uh, out into the light and waiting for paramedics. Nudity is important for us because it's one reason. Um, this is cyberpunk. So people uh, augment their body. The So the body, what's the problem here? I, I'm, I don't see the problem here. This is sexism? Like, first of all, stop pretending that your boner went to college. I promise you that your audience for the cyber guy... So, these people are nuts. These people are absolutely insane. So, continue to make cyberpunk more successful by complaining about it. Continue to be offended over everything, even though you're getting everything that you want. This is the classic SJW mentality. You get what you complain about all these years, you get all these things that you cry for, and then you get them, and then you blame everything on sexism and racism because of what they're doing to the characters. You wanted the representation, you get the representation, then you're upset at how they are treating the representation because it's an endless cycle. It's an endless rabbit hole of victimization, and this is why you never, ever, ever pander to these people because you will never make them happy. They will never be satisfied, and they will always find a reason to be the victim. Always. It never fails. If you've ever listened to anything I've said, please listen to this, okay? Never, ever pander to social justice warriors. Ever. You will not please them. They will do nothing but use your kindness against you. So any type of sacrifices you make is a huge loss in the long run. Cyberpunk 2077, I will be buying this game. I'll probably buy this game multiple times just because it's going to piss SJWs off. But I definitely want to play the game. But I'm probably going to buy it multiple times too. Because if you piss SJWs off, I'm a fan of you. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Check out geeksandgamers.com. Check out our merch store at geeksandgamers.com slash store. And we will talk to you later.